For the next three weeks, this campus-like setting will be your home away from home. The Federal Bureau of Prison Staff Training Academy, located on the grounds of the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center in Glencoe, Georgia. If it's vaguely reminiscent of college campuses you may have attended or visited, it would be altogether appropriate. But this 1,500-acre center is a scene where more than 20,000 students train, improve existing skills, and develop new ones each year. These students are all part of more than 60 federal law enforcement agencies from throughout the nation. And BOP is especially proud because its academy is the largest at the center and the best. You'll be putting in a lot of hard work while you're here at the Academy, but what you learn will stay with you forever. By the way, you'll also find time to enjoy some of the beautiful surroundings of historic and scenic southeastern Georgia. The beaches, the resorts, the Golden Isles, all part of your home away from home. Hello, I'm Marianne Christensen, and welcome to the Bureau of Prisons Staff Training Academy. The training and instruction you experience here are designed to give you the knowledge, skills, and techniques necessary to become an effective correctional worker. When you graduate and return to your facility, you will find yourself better prepared to carry out your responsibilities, as well as the mission of the Bureau. The mission of the Bureau of Prisons is to maintain safe, secure, and humane correctional institutions while developing and operating correctional programs. This mission is accomplished by correctional workers who are committed to being proud, professional, and proficient. Well, if you feel they're okay, tell the inmates so. There's nothing wrong with these cuffs. What we'd like to do now is take you on a brief tour of the center to give you an idea of what you can expect while you're here. One of the first things you'll notice is that the center is very large and activities seem to be going on all of the time. But first things first, driving in, your first stop will be the front gate where you'll register your car. Once you've shown identification, Security will give you a permit, which will allow you to park in designated areas around the center. Then you'll be on your way to registration, where you'll pick up your ID badge and your dormitory assignment. Keep your badge with you at all times, and make sure you wear it in the dining halls so you won't be charged for meals. The first thing you'll probably want to do is locate your dormitory. You'll find them centrally located and within easy walking distance to classes and the dining hall. You should find the rooms comfortable and functional. Community areas supply all the extras. There you can do your laundry, even shoot a game of pool. There's also a lounge where you can relax and watch TV. A break area offers a selection of snacks, including soda and ice machines. Not only do correctional officers do security uh, checks or inspections, your academic courses will be conducted in rooms like this one, which are modern and spacious. You'll receive the latest technical and field information from Bureau of Prisons instructors. They will utilize both interesting and up-to-date teaching methods. These instructors are some of the best employees in the Bureau of Prisons. They are committed to the mission and core values of the Staff Training Academy. The instruction will involve such areas as security, communications, and the inmate classification system. Don't lose your cool. Take the courses in communication skills, for example. They'll help teach you to read the communications of others, how to convey an order, apply proper levels of assertiveness, how to communicate both verbally and non-verbally, and how to prepare reports. The courses in the Fundamentals of Correctional Law will review real-life cases concerning inmates and correctional workers. Your legal rights and duties will be outlined as they apply to existing policies and procedures. Good sir, tell me what is the most broad. Understanding all of the academic material is necessary to ensure your success as a correctional worker. Remember, you will be tested on all courses, and you will be required to make a passing score in order to graduate. But there's more than just academic classes. Ready? Go! 
You will also be given tests to determine your overall level of physical fitness. These are called PEB, or the Physical Efficiency Battery. Instructors will direct you in performing exercises in stretching, agility, and endurance. Your level of performance in each one will be measured so that you can assess your current level of fitness. Ready? On guard! Another aspect of your extensive training will be daily classes in self-defense. Okay, circle that arm. Circle it at 3 o'clock. Step in. Turn that elbow. The principles of Aikido will be taught to you so you can protect yourself and others. Through techniques based upon this martial art, you'll learn how to make an opponent's own momentum work against him. The mastering of these self-defense techniques will help build your self-confidence. Like in the academic courses, you will be tested on these important abilities in self-defense. A passing score is required. What do you think you're doing out here? Can you stop right there? Yeah, I'm gonna stop right here. I wanna know what's going on. One of the favorite activities for all of the students is the practical exercises. These allow you to put into action what you've learned in the classroom. But don't be surprised if a few interesting details pop up, things you may not have thought of before. Do you know how we got out? No, we don't, ma'am. Instructors will place you in a mock field setting where you will be called upon to apply any number of skills. Search procedures, problem resolution, knowledge of agency policy, communication skills, and proper methods of assertiveness will be evaluated. Good job, guys. Let's try another one. Who's next? Here's an example. In this practical exercise, students are searching for contraband in the Glencoe Jail. Through exercises such as this, you will become aware of what to look for when conducting a thorough search of an individual or an area. You'll begin to see the surprising range of possibilities that arise when trying to outthink a prison inmate. Another chapter in your training will be the handling and maintenance of firearms. It's a standardized program where you'll learn to use a variety of weapons, including handguns, rifles, and the shotgun. Indoor and outdoor shooting ranges offer you diverse environments in which to develop your skills. Instructors will take time to help you become more comfortable and confident, assisting you along the way in developing your expertise. As your abilities develop on each weapon, you will be tested. As always, a passing score is required. We have a well-rounded curriculum here at the Staff's Training Academy. Uh, the instructors here at the Academy are concerned for the students and are committed to helping the students uh, develop to their fullest potential. As instructors at the Academy, uh, we have a broad base of experience. Instructors have worked in various occupations in the field and have brought to the Academy a wealth of experience. Instructors are uh, charged with the responsibility of helping the students to develop and not taking this responsibility lightly. Uh, we would never tell a student to do something that we haven't done ourselves in the field. The Academy is a place to get a lot of serious work done. So a lot of thinking and planning has gone into making sure that can happen in an atmosphere that's structured yet enjoyable. You've heard the story about all work and no play. Well, we want to make sure you take the opportunity to relax after hours. And yes, enjoy yourself. In the Student Center, you'll find friendly conversation and a host of activities to entertain you. Take advantage of the large indoor and outdoor pools, or take a jog around the fitness trail. Enjoy a game of golf on our nine-hole course, or reserve time for a game of tennis or racquetball. At the Convenience Center, you'll find almost everything you need. The post office is open during midday hours, making it easy to send or receive mail. The credit union will cash your checks and take care of your banking needs. And there's a convenience store for all kinds of supplies and things you need. Snacks, beverages, specialty items, you name it. One place you'll find yourself a lot is the dining hall. It's open seven days a week for three meals a day. There are a variety of appetizing setups. Hot meals, cafeteria style. A grill that offers hamburgers and hot dogs. A sandwich deli where you can create your own and the popular salad bar with all of the trimmings. Oh, 
As you attend the Staff Training Academy, you'll find that the program is designed to be thorough and well-rounded. The many skills expected of a correctional worker are diverse. You need to be assertive. Know the job by the book. Be adept at handling many demands. Every BOP graduate has worked hard to qualify in all of these important areas. But it's not just the hard work. BOP employees add a special sense of dedication and belief in what they're doing. They're proud, proficient, and professional. That's pretty evident. Here's what a few graduates have to say about the training. I work with inmates every day face to face. Going to the academy helped me build up my confidence and make me a better officer. I got a lot out of Glencoe. Don't get me wrong, you still got to crack the books, but there's a lot to do there. The facilities are fantastic, and I, I learned quite a bit. The academy at Glencoe helped prepare us to work in a large institution like this with a lot of inmates. They put us through a lot of uh, practical exercises to deal with emergency situations. Because in a place like this, anything can happen and will happen. One thing I hadn't anticipated was the tricks and manipulation games that inmates will try to play on you. Not too long ago, an inmate here tried to manipulate me. And because of my training at Glencoe, I was able to resolve it before it got out of hand. I think one of the most important things I learned at Glencoe was uh, communicating. Glencoe has really helped me to improve my communicating skills. I communicate with the inmates uh, on a daily basis in the factory here. Um, prior to going to Glencoe, I didn't know what the inmates were authorized to have or not to have. Uh, so I think Glencoe has really helped me in that area. You're embarking on a very important phase of your career. As a correctional worker for the Federal Bureau of Prisons, your knowledge and expertise will cover a wide variety of subjects. This important mixture of skills and abilities is vital to your success as you set out to help fulfill the agency's mission. At the end of this three weeks, you will renew the oath of office and become a member of the Bureau of Prisons family. It won't come easy. It will take hard work and dedication. But most assuredly, it will be something of which you can be proud. We hope you've enjoyed this tour of Fletzy. We look forward to your visit to the Staff Training Academy and your becoming a member of the BOP family.